This tutorial will guide you through mapping the source buttons on a Cayenne or Carrera switcher panel. It is assumed that the switcher inputs and outputs are configured and the button mapping needs to be modified. Button mapping is performed from the user setup menu, panel prefs submenu. First take note of the button count selection. This selection determines which button count is being modified. Only the button count that matches the number of buttons on the switcher panel that you are connected to is currently in use. The other button count settings will only be used if this panel prefs file is loaded into a switcher with a different size panel connected. The correct button count selection should be automatically selected when the menu connects to its associated panel. Each available ME bank can be mapped differently if desired. In many systems, all ME banks are mapped the same. As the switcher can have up to 96 external sources and 50 internal sources, it is often not possible to map all the buttons to the panel at once. For this reason, shift buttons can be used to enable additional rows of buttons to be accessed. Both Cayenne and Carrera panels provide for four shift modes. The first shift, or unshifted row, is accessed on the panel by directly pressing a source button. By utilizing a shift button, access can be gained to a second shift, third shift, or even a fourth shift row. The fourth shift button, however, is not usually mapped to the panel, as it can also be accessed by selecting both the second and third shift buttons together. Each shift row can be mapped differently, or sources can be duplicated on certain buttons as needed. Sources can also be removed from the panel by using the None assignment. This enables sources to be unassigned from buttons if not required for a particular production. The sources on the right hand side of the menu typically show the engineering names for the sources. The engineering names however can be overridden in the source patch menu and reordered if required. Source patch is covered later in this tutorial. The default panel mapping has the second shift third shift and the delegate buttons located on the right hand side of the button row. These special buttons can be moved, duplicated or even removed from the panel as desired but when present must appear in the same position in each column. Other sources can also be copied automatically to the shifted columns by using the same as first button. The delegate button is used to change which bus is delegated to each button row and is usually best located at the end of the row for easy access. To make a change of the button source assignments, first select the button to be changed, then choose the new source to be assigned to that button. Change immediately appears on the panel. It is common practice to assign key signals to a shifted row on the same button for the related video located on the unshifted or first shift row. This is often used for clip store and image store channels when these are used as video and key. If required, the source list can be filtered to help in searching for a source for assignment. Select filter and type in the first few letters of the source. In this case P and D. The source list will now be filtered to show only sources beginning with those characters. Press show all to return to viewing all available sources. All external sources appear first in the list with all internal fixed sources appearing at the bottom of the list. Selecting a new button for mapping will cause the source list to jump to that source in the list. If this is undesirable, the auto-scroll function of the sources list can be locked so it does not change. The name that appears in the list of sources are typically the engineering names. 
However, these can be overridden by using the source patch menu located under the Sweet Prefs submenu. Source patch provides two features for the operator. First, the ability to change the engineering names to a shorter name for display in the different locations. And second, the ability to patch a different engineering source into a logical ID so that a different source can be used in an existing effect. First, let's look at where the source names appear on the panel. The panel name is displayed in the transition module. The OLED name or organic LED name is used in the yellow display area for the source buttons. The menu name appears in various menus including the button mapping and source operations or source ops menu. A change in the first column will appear in all display areas so it is not necessary to fill in each column if a new name is needed everywhere. Column priority is to the left, so a name in the OLED column will affect the menu column but leave the panel name displaying the engineering source name. Keep in mind the panel name is limited to four characters and longer names will be truncated. The default mapping of engineering sources to logical IDs is one to one but different engineering sources can be patched into the logical ID positions if needed. This allows effects created using a specific logical ID to be quickly changed in case a different source is required in an effect. It also allows effects from one facility to be used in another switcher by simply changing the logical patching. Returning to the panel prefs menu, we will next look at color schemes. There are two areas where the button colors can be changed. The overall panel color scheme and the individual source colors. Source colors will override the panel color scheme for the buses on the panel. In the panel color scheme menu there are three default schemes available. Opal, Tinted, and Rainbow. The opal color scheme sets most button colors to white. The tinted color scheme leaves most bus colors white but assigns default colors to each of the six keyers. Rainbow sets all the button colors to the system defaults. Regardless of which preset color scheme is used, any of the colors can be changed later as needed. Colors can be changed for all ME background and key buses, as well as AUX buses, router control, macro, EMEM, and the keypads. The colors can be selected from standard system colors or from a group of five user colors. Each of the used colors can be set by adjusting the amount of red, green, and blue used in the color. These user colors are shared between the panel color scheme and the source colors menu. The source colors menu allow an individual source to be colored for easy panel identification. Simply select the logical ID for the source to be changed and choose a color from the system or user color selections. The change will immediately appear on the panel. To remove a modified source color, select Default Bus Color to return the source to the color scheme set by the Panel Color Scheme menu. In addition to changing the source colors, the OLED displays can also be inverted individually causing the source to show as dark letters on a light background. This provides an additional method for changing the panel layout to aid the operator in quickly selecting sources. This completes the tutorial on button mapping.